What's up guys? Welcome to your 139th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're actually going to start setting up our first button which is going to be placing a pinpoint. And how we're going to do that is we're going to create a new class that's going to kind of be passed in the drawable item uh, that we're actually going to draw to our map or our pinpoint you can think of it as and uh, handle it within that class. So we're going to create new class and we're going to call this custom pinpoint or something of the sort, whatever you guys want to call this. Hit enter. And what this is going to extend is something called an uh, itemized overlay because, again, we're drawing some kind of item, um, itemized object or a drawable uh, to our overlay. Um, so it's going to be an itemized overlay and it's going to be of the type overlay item. So we're going to say overlay item and we're, we're just going to hit command shift I to add or, or sorry command shift O to add our imports and as you can see your custom pinpoint class is getting some errors because we need a constructor so we're going to just say add constructor and we're also going to hover over and add the unimplemented methods overlay item um, create item and the size so now what this first constructor is what we want it to do is basically center our are drawable. We're going to draw like a target or something like that and we want the center of our bitmap or a drawable item that's being passed in uh, to align to where we actually want to place the pin pinpoint. So what we're going to do is on this super method we're going to say bound center and then we're going to add a parentheses here and again around our default item uh, that's being passed in which is a drawable. So again, all that's going to do is take our drawable item, find the center of that drawable, and bound it to the center of our, you know, bound the point to the center of our drawable, and that's where it's going to kind of pinpoint on our map. Now what we, well, now what we want to do is we want to add some items that we can uh, refer to, or instance of classes that we can refer to uh, within this class. So what we want to do is we want to say private array, array list, of the type overlay item we're going to call this map items whoops or pinpoints and uh, we're going to set this equal to new array list of the type overlay and then open parentheses close parentheses and we're done again we just hit control shift O and uh, oh, I'm sorry. And this is supposed to be overlay items, or overlay item, I should say. And there we go. We have our imp we have our import set up. And uh, and we aren't obviously this isn't set to anything yet. It's just a new array list. And what we're also going to add is a context. So private context. Oh, can't spell. And we're just going to call this C, maybe, something like that. Again, we just have to import context. Now what we want to do is we want to create a constructor, again, that is going to refer to a drawable and a context. So we can pass in the context, work with the class that we're getting, and setting that up. I'm going to hit Control-C to copy and then just paste uh, below. Again, this is just another constructor. This time what we're going to do is we're just going to refer to this as drawable M for marker and also a context we're going to call that C as well or whatever you guys want to refer to that as and what we want this constructor to do is basically create this context equal to the context that's being passed in so basically now we just have to relate our drawable and our context so what we're first going to do is just say this we're going to call this uh, within the parentheses M which again is our drawable item that's being passed in and then what we also want to do is we want to relate this context that we set up here to the context that's being passed in so I changed um, I don't know I kind of clipped the video but uh, I, this was C just change that to context um, so it's a little bit more simple to work with down here um, and we're, all we're going to do is set our C which is our variable for this class a private variable we're going to set that equal to the context that's being passed in which we called context um, so that's all that that constructor is doing. 
Uh, now we can relate to this and it's still the same context that's being passed in uh, through this constructor. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys. Um, in the next tutorial we'll finish this class called Custom Pinpoint um, because again we have this array list that it's basically not set to equal to anything. There's no way that we can insert into this array list so we're going to create a method that's going to insert. We're also going to change some of these return methods um, in that tutorial. So we're basically going to get that finished up. Again all we created was a custom pinpoint class that uses itemized overlay um, that we're going to refer to our drawable that's being passed in. And uh, then we're going to draw that to an overlay. And we have two constructors. Again one that just handles a drawable being passed in. All that's going to do is bound the center of the drawable item. So we're going to pinpoint through the center on the place that we touch on our map. And that's how it's going to align for the most part right in the center of our drawable item. And then we also have a constructor that handles our drawable item and a context. So just the you know the marker is going to be the same and our context we're going to set equal to the context that's being passed in. So we don't really have to worry about getting mixed up and using the context of this class and all that good stuff. So that's basically our constructors and the setup of this class. See you guys in the next one. Have a good